looks like we've got ourselves an enemy combatant here. Maybe he can tell us the location of Private Kid. But that ain't what I'm asking about right here, right now. You see, we know what you're doing. We understand what you're doing. The other guys that interrogated you, there's stuff that I know that they don't know. That's why they were asked to leave this room. I know it doesn't look much in the way of an interrogation center, but considering that we're on the move on the front line, what choice do we have? But that ain't what I'm asking about. Why are you carrying this? Why were you carrying this? And what was inside this bag? Money, of course. It looks like you were carrying a lot of cash. Yeah, you were carrying a lot of currency, weren't you? What were you carrying this stuff for, son? Huh? What were you carrying this for, huh? What were you doing with all this cash? What were you hoping to do, son? What were you hoping to do? Were you trying to bribe your way out of trouble? I hate to say that. I hate to say this, son, but you know what? Our asking price is way too high. So tell me, son. What were you doing with all this money? What were you doing with it all? I only can ponder one thing, son. I can only ponder one thing. And you know what I think that is? You know damn good and well the Insomnia Empire is losing this war. You know damn good and well they're losing this war already. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you think you're winning the war? Come on, son. Come on. You know better than to lie to me like that. <laughs> you expect me to believe that kind of nonsense? Come on, son. Come on. Better start answering my questions right now. Like, what the hell were you doing with all this money? And number two, where the hell is Private Kid? I'm dead serious, kid. Where is Private Kid? Where is he? I am not in the mood for this. I am not in the mood for you not answering me. I know there's a lot of pauses and a lot of ums and uhs, but I got so much going on in my mind up here, it ain't even funny. So, son, I'm going to ask you one more time. What were you doing with all this money? And number two, where in the hell is Private Kid? Where the hell is he at? I must give y'all credit. I must give y'all credit for the bombing run. You know, making it look like it was our planes, you know. I must hand that to y'all. So tell me again. You're not going to tell me? Well, we can't torture you, because that ain't what we're here to do. But what can we do to get that information out there, son? What can we do to help you? You're not going to say anything to me? You're not going to say anything to the other two guys. You're not going to say anything to me. You're not going to say anything to our officers. You're not going to say anything to anybody, aren't you? Well, I can't force you to talk.
because then that would make us look as bad as the insomniacs. Yep, you're a bit of a hard one, I admit. But I will say this, we will find answers. We will get to the bottom of this. But since you're not going to tell me anything about what's going on with that money you got over there, why don't you tell me about if you know anything about a young man named Private Kid? You, you, you just now realize who I am? Come on, son. You just now realize I'm Sergeant Kramer? I must admit, you and Somhags do make me laugh from time to time. But I'm not laughing. Not right now, anyway. So, you're not going to say nothing, aren't you? You're not going to say a damn word to me, aren't you? You're not going to say anything to me, aren't you? Nothing. I must applaud you for your defiance. But you know what, kid? Excuse me, you know what, son? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so used to talking to private kid and ain't even funny. But you know what, son? We will find out what you're doing. We will find out. Not only the location of private kid and the other ASM artists, we're also going to find out what you're doing with this money. So, you don't want to talk. Understand. You don't want to reveal any hidden information, anything like that. You'll make it up to us. How are we supposed to believe you? How are we supposed to even believe you? How are we even supposed to believe what you're saying? Right. So... You're not being paid enough by the emperor himself? That may explain the money right there. The very fact that you're robbing one of these big old banks, not even a military target. Why would you even stoop that low? You're a soldier. Even though you're my enemy, hey, I'll say this about you. Not only are you persistently to fight, you got guts. It's a shame we're on the opposite side. It's a shame we're on opposite sides of this war. But I'm not gonna let you get off scot-free, kid. Excuse me, son. Damn it, I keep always thinking about him. Ah, so you know about him too, don't you? So you saw him too? You saw a private kid somewhere? Well, we're getting somewhere. So you saw him being escorted to one of the main prisons that the insomniacs are running. Yet why are you giving me this information like this? How do I know you're not lying to me? How do I know you're only saying this to get out of this interrogation? Well, suppose I told you I know something that can help you talk. Yeah, I know you haven't seen these in forever. You haven't seen potato chips, stackable potato chips for a long time. I could give you some. Oh. No, uh -uh. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to give this to you right away. 
But I tell you what, would you be willing to tell us a little bit more about the money? And what's going on with the Insomnia Empire? You can be honest with us. General Rage isn't even here. General Rage is not even listening. Besides, if anything, that fool, that fool right there in the way of General Rage, I'm going to tell you something about him. I look forward to seeing him on the field of battle one day. You know why? So I can have the pleasure of blowing his brains out. Or watching him suffer in the way of, how should I put it, T? How should I say it? In the way of knowing that his empire crumbled and I was the one responsible. Well, <laughs> yes, you have grievances with general rage as well. with all the money you have here. It always goes back to that. That ain't like you. That ain't like you insomniacs. Stealing money from the banks. What were you doing with that? What were you doing with all that money? didn't want to see it destroyed. That's one thing to consider. But I'm actually starting to think there's something more sinister. And you're not telling me. How do you justify having it? In fact, you're not the only one with all the money. A lot of your fellow soldiers, a lot of your fellow insomniacs, they had stacks and piles of cash. I'm no banker, and I'm not much of an economics, an economic individual. You can tell because I don't know the exact word, and I know sort of the word, but not the exact word. I'm saying. But I'm beginning to suspect that you guys are feeling the pinch of this war. You can deny it all you want. But I trust my experience. I trust my experience. So you're still not going to say much of anything. Even after I'm offering you some potato chips and a way out. Persistently, bastard. Persistently, bastard. I can only hope the private kid is just as resistant as you are. Well, I can't torture you. Because that would make me as bad as you. But you know what, son? One day you're going to talk. And I know I'm exaggerating about the length of time that it'll take you to talk. But know this, boy. We're going to find out what's going on. We're going to find out what's going on and what's happening. But you're not willing to tell us anything. For the time being, now POW. Anyways, this ain't going to be the first time we're going to be having this conversation, Elsa. Because I will get answers from you. I will definitely get answers from you. Till then, get out of here. Guards, Get this insomniac out of my face. 
He ain't talking.